Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, and still, hmm, <laughs> you know, don't you? You know. Right, uh, fights that, I can explain it, fights where I weren't happy with the decision from the referee or the judges. These these are just fights I've met, I've, I've made a list up here this morning, three, six, ten fights. Ten fights here that sort of stick in the memory. Uh, I know people will be saying, Bucky, you didn't mention Carl Froch and George Grove stoppage in Manchester. Well, I'd, I've mentioned that plenty of times and I didn't want to mention it because I were ringside, wasn't I? And I know what happened and like I said, George Groves ended up with a concussion, didn't he? But they kept it quiet to build rematch. So... Read Howard Foster's book when he retires. Right, Robbie Reed against Sven Otka. Hmm. Worst referee I've ever seen in my life, Roger Tilleman. Family friend at Sowland. And probably worst set of judging scores ever. Robin Reed appealed on it. We know what happened with that, don't we? So, but it is what it is. So, that's what happens when you're represented by plant pots. So that's the number one for me. The worst one I've ever seen. The worst ever stitch up. Uh, the other one, right, on a par with that. So technically there's 11, there's 11. But on a par with that for, I think, corruption. And I think, in my opinion, corruption and or incompetence, it's one or other. The other one was Arthur Abram against Edison Miranda, the first one in Germany. Uh, they're probably the worst two fights that have ever been on TV, uh, both in Germany, both on Sauland shows. Shocking. There's been other ones, aren't there, on, uh, in Germany? You know, Macklin, Matthew Macklin against Sturman. Uh, Martin Murray got jobbed out there, although I thought that were close. Uh, but the Arthur Abraham Edison Miranda won, where the referee stops the fight and Willie Sowland stands up and says, No, 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 carry on, he's okay. Willie Sowland directing Randy Newman to, uh, to not stop the fight, even though Miranda thought he'd won. That is. You could probably say that shades Robin Reed's and Orky, but cost Robin Reed's me pal. I'm gonna put that at the top, but the neck and neck for for bad, really, really bad. I mean, how can you knock somebody down like Robin Reed knocked Orky down, and then they take a point off you for knocking him down? So that 10-8 round to Robin goes to a 10-8 round to Orky, doesn't it? And things like that make all the difference when you're trying to sort your game plan out in the middle of the fight because you start having to chase, don't you? And, but I thought Robin more than he did enough to win that fight, but he were robbed and that's how it goes, isn't it? Yui Fury against Parker. I thought Yui were robbed by judges, Terry O'Connor, and your head in shame. And now I am never gonna apologise for what I said to you, Terry O'Connor, at one of Dennis's shows a couple of years later. You're a gimp from Gimpville Island, Terry. So Yui against Parker, that were a bad decision. Uh Manny Pacquiao against Tim Bradley. Pfft. Talk about boxing getting shot in the foot that day. I mean, Pacqui uh, Bradley I ended up fighting. Said I tried my best, but the better man won. And then decision came down. Oh my God! He won a par with Andre Ward. Kovalev won it, but uh, the first one that is. Although the second Ward Kovalev that was shocking. Won it for a stoppage. But Ward fanboys will know that I'm for that, but Ward's not in the list. We're talking about Manny Pacquiao Bradley. That was a shocking one from the Drudgers. Here's another shocking one from a referee. Meldrick Taylor against Julio Cesar Chavez. Before the fight, Lou... Lou... I forgot his second name now. Uh, Lou Duva. Lou Dover said, you've got to watch Richard Steele in this fight. He will uh, he will end up stitching my guy up. Well, 
two seconds to go, the guy stood up on his feet, Chavez is the other side of the ring and he stops the fight, but the guy got up. So uh, you tell me, just because he looked at right, he was checking to see what who was signalling to him. What well, he stood up in he? Two seconds to go, I mean Richard Steele. Hang your head in shame for hanging out of the back of Don King. You're another Mickey Van. So we all remember Mickey Van, don't we, on a Don King show years ago. Well that what, what fight was that? Was that a Chevez fight? Chevez against Pernell Sweet Pea, you might be wrong on that. Uh, Johnny Nelson against Carl Thompson. <laughs> this guy here, this first ever title fight across the board, he gets the WBO. Johnny Nelson against Carl Thompson. Probably the worst ever stoppage I've ever seen, considering Carl Thompson weren't even hurt and they were hell on after the fight, hell on. Uh, Johnny Nelson were reborn after that, wasn't he? We've, we've, we've not seen last of Johnny, have we? But ever since then, Johnny's been dining out on it, hasn't he? It's funny, isn't it, how we, have, we never seem to see, see the Johnny Nelson, Carl Thompson fight now. I don't know if this is true, but I've been told that the person who's got the rights to that fight don't like it to be out there. Don't like it to be out there. Why is that? Because it's probably the worst ever stoppage of the 1990s by a referee in a world title fight. So, Johnny Nelson against Carl Thompson. Shocking stoppage from referee. Beltram against Ricky Burns. God, Beltram was served up on a plate when he up there in Scotland. Ricky Burns was embarrassed after the fight. Not as embarrassed as Eddie Hearn was, but Eddie rode the storm out, didn't he? And Adam Smith, this is why we love this sport so much, Johnny! Rough, tough, rugged! <laughs> so, what utter bull from Bean. But Beltram, he brought Ricky Burns' jaw and proceeded to bash him up. All fight, only to be jobbed, so thought that were in bad taste. Hagler, ha Hagler against Ray Leonard. Now, people might give me some stick for this. Porky, you can't do that, Ray Leonard, he's a legend. Look, you can't fight for 30 seconds of every round and say you won the fight. When the other guy's fighting for 2 minutes 30 of every round, bringing it, forcing the fight. So, I don't know what people were looking at there. I think there might have been some skullduggery there, because they might have thought, we'll get Agler's belt and the rematch will be even bigger. You know, because Agler had not been beat in years. So, as far as I'm concerned, that was a bad decision. I watched that fight myself. You don't win fights fighting for 30 seconds of every round. Unless there's corruption involved or incompetence. That's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Triple G against Canelo. Fuck, you can't say that. Canelo's a superstar. He's the pinnacle of the sport. He's also a drug cheat. And also, he got beat by Golovkin. I thought he lost them both, to be honest. Uh, nobody's going to get a decision against Canelo. That's why Billy Joe Saunders doesn't want the fight unless it's a mega life changing dough. Unless it's private jet money, Billy Joe won't take that fight. So, then again, who, who is getting a fight at the moment at Matchroom? We're not delivering for any, any of them, are they? Uh, John Ryder, Callum Smith, Billy Joe, Dillian White, who are they, Savannah Marshall, who are they all fighting? Well, I get Shannon Courtney out though, won't they? Uh, John Ryder against Callum Smith. I thought John Ryder won very, very comfortably. Totally shocking. Silence from Joe Gallagher since. But yeah, if it boot had been on other foot, Joe Gallagher would have been screaming for a rematch. I mean, he was demanding Linares against Crawler rematch. Linares against Crawler. How many rounds did Crawler win it? First one. Two rounds. Two rounds, if that. You could give him a share of one of them. Uh, Linares, so let's say you won one and a half rounds. No, let's give Crawler two rounds in the first one. How does that enable Crawler to have a rematch? When you have a rematch, you're usually screaming that you've been royally robbed or you won seven out of 12 rounds, not two rounds. That's really being generous. So, 
John Ryder against Callum Smith. I want to see that rematch. Callum Smith won't want to do, will he? He won't want John Ryder up on his chest giving him it. Not when he's been boiling down from whatever weight he has to 168. So, in the last one, I've had to throw this one in for equality for all you snowflakes out there that are hanging out of the back of the PC brigade. So we've had to put a woman's fight in here. Katie Taylor against Delphine Pursue. Did anybody ever watch that? Did anybody ever has anybody ever watched that fight? That fight is totally and utterly shocking. Totally and utterly shocking. Totally. So that's about it really. Uh yeah, I, he hasn't sent me one yet. Alright, tell him I want one. But, uh Let me add in that now. Uh totally shocking. Katie Taylor against Pursuit. So let's go through them all then. Robin Reed against Otke. Ties, in my opinion, as the worst ever fight that I've seen. With Edison Miranda against Arthur Abraham in Germany. Go and watch Edison Miranda against Arthur Abraham, some hardcore homework for you. And watch how corrupt the sport can be when you've got powerful promoters in Germany standing in front of the TV cameras telling the referee, no, you don't stop that fight, they carry on. Your mind is jaws broke, you can't stop it. Randy Newman, well he was exposed then, wasn't he, for what he is. So, Robin Reed, Sven Otke, Edison Miranda, Arthur Abraham, joint one. Second place, Huey Fury against Parker. Bad points loss. Manny Pacquiao, Tim Bradley, third. Meldrick Taylor against Julio Cesar Chavez, fourth. Carl Thompson, Johnny Nelson, the company man, fifth. Ray Belton, Ricky Burns, sixth. Marvin Agler, seven against Ray Leonard. 8, Canelo, Triple G, 9, John Ryder, Callum Smith, and number 10, Katie Taylor, against Delphine Pursum. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, shout out to my sponsors.